Hello everyone, now we are going to see how we are going to regenerate the resins of a manual um, water softener with the bypass, with this wheel in this case. So when the softener is at number one, that means that it can work, the coffee machine is working. With this kind of softener, the coffee machine can still be working when it's a number one, number two, and number three, but it does not work when it will be on number four. Now we're going to see the step. So at first, we need to make sure that we held the outlet, so the bypass. So the coffee machine, the inlet, will be down on this way, and the outlet, where the arrow is, means that this is actually the exit from which the filter water will get into the coffee machine. So from number one, I will go from number one, turn it anti-clockwise until number two. You need to hold it still, this one, otherwise the water will go anywhere. Usually it's already fixed in the drain system. So you go on to number two until you hit the click. When you hit the click, it's time to open this valve very slowly, so you're going to depressurize it. Very gently, you may hear some noise, but in this case, there's none. You unscrew it. And then, you take the lid off. There you go. We need to make sure that this part here is completely cleaned on the top, on the inside of the softener and this part here, because usually there's some still left over, some residues of salt or probably some membrane or something. Everything needs to be clean. Then, we take the salt and then we put it back on, back in. Usually, you know, how much salt it depends on the size. You know, uh, usually on the instruction it's written how much. One kilo should be enough for this size of water softener. If it is the bigger one, the 12, this is seven, six to eight liters. If it is the 12 liters, you will need one and a half kilos, for instance. After you've done that, you're going to close it. Pull the lid back and then close it firmly. Try not to close it too firmly, otherwise you're going to break the handle. There you go. Then from number two, we go to step number three. So what's happening now is that we need to let the water run through like that for about 45 minutes to an hour if it is as big as this one is an hour and a half if you have the 12 liters like the bigger the softener is the more time you need to allow for the water for the salt to do the regeneration of the resin inside Basically what's happening is when the raisins are fully charged, so when they are operating normally, there's an ion exchange. So the calcium ion will be exchanged with the sodium ion, so we will not have any precipitation, which means that we will not have any scale detecting our coffee machine. So we let this run for about 45 minutes. Right. Hello everyone, I'm back here. Now 45 minutes have passed, so what I'm going to do is I need to hold this one, unless it's already fixed to the drain system, and I turn it to number four again. Make sure you're not using the coffee machine while this is on number four. As long as it is on number one, two and three, you can keep 
using the coffee machine, it's fine. On number four, you cannot use it. This is what happens with number four. Tell me. There is going to be a big pressure coming on. It takes about one minute until all of the pressure will be discharged from the water softener. There you go, now that the water is running through, so one minute has passed. We put it back on number one. And here we go, and we can go back on using our coffee machine as usual. A lot of people ask how many times we have to do this operation, whether it's a manual one or an automatic one. So obviously it depends on the kind of water that you have and the amount of water that you use on the coffee machine. It would be a good practice to do it once a week anyway, whether it's hard water or soft water. I mean, it's better to do it twice than not doing it at all. So at least once a week, once every two weeks, if your water is really soft, so if it is like below 120 ppm, like we have it here in Belluno, we can do it once every two weeks, it's fine. But otherwise, once a week, it won't hurt at all. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next video.